Hello YouTube and welcome back all of you amazing viewers tuning in to no one else but the celebrity ring where we keep you posted with the latest and hottest celeb updates out there every week like always. In today's exclusive video, we're going to be taking a look at how exactly Logan Paul ruined Floyd Mayweather's legacy along with all the insane details too. It's going to be more than just hype so before we start definitely make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel too and without any more interruptions let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. The fight that has recently gone down against the infamous YouTuber Logan Paul and legendary boxing champion Floyd Mayweather left people across the internet and honestly the world stunned in their seats as what had transpired was something truly unique. Everyone knows that Logan is known for continuously making some kind of drama go down everywhere he goes, with his most recent scandal involving the sanctity of the beloved Pokemon card game community and his hilarious unboxing scandal that went off on his livestream. Aside from that, he posted several times on different social media platforms, keeping tabs to his audience on his workout routines and training for his boxing matches, where we've seen him strut his stuff to other opponents such as KSI. It's obvious that he is most certainly a strong dude, but to those akin to the art of fighting, strength isn't always everything since technique is critical in specific fighting styles and types of matches being held. Many people across Twitter and Reddit have voiced their opinions and criticisms towards Logan regarding his blatant carelessness towards the sport itself, and how it's just another path for him to get even more publicity by taking some huge words online about legends such as Mayweather. Enough to elicit a very interesting and calculated response that was coordinated to be an event that caught the attentions of millions watching. Perhaps he actually does have a love for the sport if we're giving him the benefit of the doubt. But surely after how this fight ended and not the outcome of the match, but the resulting rewards given to the two fighters, it's clear where his intentions are gonna lie if he continues to go down this path of boxing. For those who didn't know somehow, sports matches being reserved for live TV broadcasts have insane value to the network, and organizers holding the event as well because they were fully aware of the incredibly massive heights of popularity and viewership that would come about as a result. From that fight, both Mayweather and Paul had left with some ridiculous earnings that night. Mayweather was given a fantastic $10 million base salary pay for the fight, but with that he was also paid 50% of the pay-per-view shares, bringing him an unimaginable amount of money from one single night. Logan however was only given a base pay of $250,000 and around 10% of the shares from that fight as well which may seem modest at first, but in reality, it's estimated that Logan had walked out with his final earnings coming in around $20 million. For someone in his position and age, he could easily call it a day on his boxing career and retire after one real fight, then enjoy the rest of his immense wealth. But realistically, we aren't going to be seeing anything remotely close to that. Instead, quite the opposite's going to happen. This is only going to fuel his desire to start challenging more and more big names in the community. But at the same time, we're bound to see him improve again and again, the more he gets proper experience so that could be exciting for some of his fans to see as well. But for most fans of Mayweather and boxing in general, they truly think that Logan is sort of a disgrace to the sport and all the history behind it. The spectacle of the battle took place at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. In total, both of the fighters had landed roughly 73 punches in their 8 round exhibition match. Mayweather had obviously landed a majority of them which didn't make it too entertaining to watch, but he did survive the gauntlet and the end of it which was absolutely essentially a moral victory for himself, being able to withstand one of the most prominent and legendary figures in boxing for the past 30 years. Paul definitely did a decent job, a lot more than most people expected. It really does say a lot when you hear both of their parting words after the fight. Quote, I want anyone to tell me anything is impossible ever again. The fact that I'm in here with the GOAT means the odds can be beaten. Everyone can beat the odds and also do great things. Floyd Mayweather, it was an honor, unquote, Paul said. Despite the rough journey it took to get to this point, Logan really was a good sport at the end of it and it's clear that he has some major respect for Floyd as one of the elites of boxing. But with all that said, many fans of their online communities have some incredibly differing opinions that say otherwise. All starting from the very beginning. Last month before this whole thing was even remotely orchestrated, many people could immediately tell that this event wasn't going to be any ordinary match. Because based off Floyd Mayweather's incredible track record, it just didn't make sense for a YouTuber of all people, who would become a slight meme for his previous boxing matches, to be the next legitimate opponent of Floyd Money Mayweather. 
this has led people to speculate that once Logan had made the proposition online to Mayweather, it was clear from that very moment that this was a huge opportunity to get some insanely viral attention and sponsorships all in one night, with almost zero effort from the two of them. It's honestly kind of smart if you think about it. For those of you who are quick to deny that possibility, take it from the legend himself, as he mentions in an interview. Quote, they say it's not all about the money. Kids can't eat legacy. They eat off the currency. I believe in building generational wealth. That's what's important to me. Generational wealth. If you guys don't want to see me, do no exhibitions, don't come, don't watch. When it comes to illegalized bank robbing, I'm the best, unquote. That last quote really resonates with the whole idea of this being planned for the financial earnings involved for the whole event. As Mayweather had also mentioned that the small patches of sponsorships on his boxing trunks made him a whopping $30 million for simply just being on there, just a picture on some shorts. If that doesn't show you what seems to be fueling this fire for this match, then I don't really know what does. It's this fact that has made fans conclude that Logan Paul is what ruined Mayweather's legacy, turning his incredible streak of hardship, training, and skill into something focused on generating more wealth for his family. Which is fine in itself, but really hits the wrong way for fans who had been keeping up with the progress for the past few decades of Mayweather, all because of one controversial YouTuber who just liked to run his mouth. But don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to hate on Logan because obviously what he's doing is right. His whole family is obviously no stranger to controversy at all, considering he and Jake seem to be constantly in trouble, but it seems like Logan has kind of grown up past that, although he's definitely not perfect when it comes to that regard, and obviously he has a lot of courage for being able to step in the ring with Floyd Money Mayweather. But that begs the titular question of this video. Did Logan Paul ruin Floyd Mayweather's legacy? You have to keep in mind, Floyd Mayweather was literally 49-0 when he retired, he then came out of retirement and faced Conor McGregor a few years ago, and that was one of the biggest fights I think we've ever seen in the fighting entertainment industry. But then he beat Conor McGregor even though he was so much older than him, and it honestly was pretty crazy to see. Then that made Floyd be 50-0, which is definitely insane and one of the biggest streaks we've ever seen in professional sports history of all time. But so now he came out of retirement per se to do these exhibition matches, which is pretty cool. So you gotta keep in mind that this also was not scored, so there's no true winner. Even if Mayweather won or lost, it wouldn't go against his record. But some people are saying that it did taint his legacy. But I do totally see why Mayweather would do such a thing, and we even highlighted a lot about that in the video. But anyways guys, we want to hear what you guys think about this whole fight fiasco down in the comments below. Please do let us know if you think Mayweather's legacy has been tarnished as a result of this single exhibition match. Anyways guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you always get notified when we post a brand new video for you. Anyways, we'll catch you next time. Peace.